Very often, plant-based recipes call for soaked or sprouted nuts, seeds, beans, or grains. In this video, we will discuss the basics behind soaking and sprouting and the benefits that go along with it. Although beans and pulses are rich in protein, complex carbs, and fiber, a lot of people avoid consuming them and miss out on the tremendous health benefits because of complaints of indigestion, bloating, and flatulence or gas. There is a reason for this and also a solution. When we purchase the seeds, they are dried and in a dormant state waiting for the opportunity to germinate and grow. The seed has everything it requires for creating life. However, these are locked and protected. This protection is created by natural chemicals in the seeds called phytic acids, also known as anti-nutrients. If we try to cook the seeds as is, these anti-nutrients cause trouble in the digestive tract. The initial purpose of these anti-nutrients, or secondary metabolites, was in defense against herbivorous insects, pathogens, or unfavorable growing conditions for the seeds. In terms of human consumption, these anti-nutrients pose a problem. The of anti-nutrients identified by science are the phytates, the lectins, oxalates, goitrogens, the phytoestrogens, and the tannins. There is a lot of scientific literature available online on the topic, and we are looking at one such review paper. The table here presents each of the anti-nutrient type, the main food sources, and the problem identified with their poorly cooked consumption. This review paper also summarizes the scientific evidence on the methods of cooking and food processing that have demonstrated significant reduction in levels of anti-nutrients, rendering them safer for consumption. And lo and behold, there is no fancy procedure or expensive equipment or appliances required but only good old grandma taught techniques such as peeling the skins of produce, soaking and sprouting amongst others. I will leave the link to this publication in the description box so that you can have it for your own reference. The soaking time required varies from a minimum of four hours for lentils, for example, to a good eight hours or overnight for bigger seeds, such as beans and chickpeas, and also for millets. The water used for the soaking has to be discarded and the seeds rinsed with clean water before cooking. Sprouting takes the seed business to the next level. The seeds are soaked and rinsed several times to remove the phytates and other anti-nutrients that keep the seeds from germinating. At home, soaked mung beans or black gram are easily sprouted by soaking them and keeping them in a kitchen towel in the dark. It takes a couple of days to get great sprouts for your soups and salads. As the sprouts are living, they have prana or life force energy and are considered very beneficial for health and vitality. And finally, this video will be incomplete if I do not mention the newest kid on the block in the seed business, the microgreens. The seedlings are harvested just after their first true leaves appear. They are packed with nutrients, offering more vitamins and antioxidants than their mature counterparts. Easy to grow at home, microgreens add flavor, color, and a nutritional boost to salads, sandwiches, and smoothies. Whether you soak to remove the anti-nutrients or you add prana to your diet via the joy of sprouting and growing microgreens, I hope you find this video useful. Thank you for watching, 